great. What a, what a wonderful way to end our day. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you. Thank for you being here. for having and us. And Hallie, uh, you made a Herculean effort to get oh. here on time from, <laughs> from Cannes Lions. I did. It's a long flight, and I lost my luggage, so. Oh, no. I planned on wearing something that looked more like what Colleen has on. <laughs> Well, but, if that's what you look like but, on the uh, plane, I think you're doing pretty and, well. And frankly, <laughs> in San Francisco, you fit right in. Good. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. When you said you lost your luggage, though, I was imagining what I travel in. I was like, so she's going to be in sweatpants and a tank top? But <laughs> you travel much nicer than... Well, today I did. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I, I was telling you backstage, for me, probiotics, the, the aisle in my local Whole Foods is immensely confusing. The products are all almost indistinguishable. A, a slight sense that digestive chaos might result uh, from any one of them. But here you guys are closing a tech conference. So what is different about Pendulum? Yeah, I think if you've ever been in a grocery store and stood in the aisle and been confused by all the different probiotics, you're not alone. And also, you're right. They are all more or less the same. If you start reading labels, you'll see that it's the same kind of lactobacillus and bifidobacterium strains. There hasn't been a new ingredient introduced in over 50 years in the probiotics industry. And so it's ripe for disruption. And the gut microbiome, which is premised in DNA sequencing and biochemical assays to understand how do you metabolically map the microbiome and then understand what impact that has on human health, becomes a sequencing and a tech problem and an engineering problem applied into a field of probiotics where there hasn't been a new ingredient. And so it really, um, for us, has been awesome to be able to innovate in the field and to bring products that have true efficacy that's measurable to the world. And from my point of view, they have this one um, uh, probiotic called Acromancia. And what impressed me most about Pendulum in the beginning is they're the only company, Colleen, has been able to figure out how to grow this one probiotic. And it's really important. It's one that as we age, we lose. Right? And so for women smack dab in the middle of menopause, <laughs> it's, a, it's a really good thing. And I think that is one very important factor that sets Pendulum out from all of the other. And the other companies have tried and tried and tried, and Colleen has been the only one to be able to do that. Hallie, talk to us a little bit about your own health journey and what led you to Pendulum in particular when, as Brad said, like the aisle is overwhelming. Well, first of all, I uh, got diagnosed with diabetes when I was um, 19 years old. And so I was on a, a 36 units of insulin, and I was young, and I was trying to understand, you know, what that meant for my life. And being young in the film industry and trying to take insulin shots all day long and eat the right foods when I had to eat the right foods really was a problem. So I ended up meeting this um, uh, Eastern medicine doctor, and he took me down this Ayurvedic path. And so he would send me roots and herbs and vitamins to boil up and make all these potions, right? So I eventually, without the help of my... Western medicine doctor weaned myself off insulin. So I have always been a believer in um, helping my body jumpstart itself to work properly and putting you know, um, the proper nutrients through food in my body, realizing that I could force it to work in a more optimal way. So I had a friend, um, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, and a friend of mine from Cleveland called me up and said, you have to try this new probiotic. Pen Pendulum is backed by the Mayo and the Cleveland Clinic. So she said, you should try this. I know you're always looking for ways to keep your A1C down and to stay healthy. You should give it a try. And I did. And I saw results pretty quickly. My A1C went down. My energy levels went up. It helped with brain fog. Being in menopause, that was really good for me. I got better sleep. You know, I started to see real tangible results. And I had tried other probiotics since I was 19, 20 years old. And nothing really moved my needle like this product moved my needle. And that's when I reached out to the company and I said, I want to understand more about this. Who, who is this Colleen Cutler? I want to know <laughs> how this came about. And she was so, you know, graciously she entertained all my questions at all my calls. And finally, you know, I said, how can I be a part of this? How can I be a part of helping everybody else learn what I learned? It was like a eureka moment for me when I really found a product that actually worked. Almost coincidentally, the weight loss drug Ozempic was coming up in your yes. previous panel, almost as a metaphor for startup slimming down. But I, I may be curious, like, are there chemical similarities in the, in the products that Pendulum is selling? And how do you guys feel about these weight loss drugs that are suddenly very fashionable in Silicon Valley, I, I would presume in Hollywood as well? 
us. <laughs> it's pervasive. I've always been, you know, I'm not going to say what's right or wrong or, you know, everybody has to make this choice for themselves, but I've always been sort of the, the natural holistic route. I do it with diet, um, diet control as a lifestyle and exercise. I think that's been really helpful in my life and managing my diabetes, so that's how I go about it. Colleen, you're a biochemist. You know, I think a lot of people look at these supplements, probiotics, and think of it as this like woo-woo thing. Even Western doctors won't prescribe it, or some doctors have told me like, don't take that stuff. Talk to us about the real science behind it. Yeah, I mean, I think that I actually tend to agree with that. I think most, I don't take any other probiotics, <laughs> and I think uh, there's a fair amount of it that you don't actually know what's in the bottle. There have been a lot of studies to come out showing that what's on the label is not the same as what's in the bottle. It's not regulated the way drugs are, and so it enables a lot of people to just kind of come in, be a flash in the pan, and, and take market share. So the science underlying it, and you know, I can bring it back to the GLP-1s, is that um, actually pendulum glucose control, our flagship product, was intended to help the body naturally produce GLP-1. That's actually what it does. And so your body, when you eat food that has sugar in it, which is basically everything, um, first gets digested in your gut microbiome. And your gut microbiome responds to that food by stimulating GLP-1. The GLP-1 is produced by the gut microbiome. And so what these drugs are trying to do is to mimic that GLP-1, and pendulum glucose control was trying to give you back these microbes that help you metabolize food to naturally stimulate GLP-1. And we had all these reports of people saying, well, I've been losing weight, my appetite's been going down. 70% of our customers take the product because they don't have sugar cravings and food cravings. And this is all really the product of GLP-1. And so they're all, all of these things are tied together. And you know, whether it's a pharmaceutical drug versus a natural product, I think it is a super important pathway when we think about metabolism. And, and tell us where you're taking this. So you know, not only what's in the pipeline, but what is the scope of the ambition? And now that you have Hallie on board, and maybe are distinguishing yourselves <laughs> from, from, uh, from the, the, the crowded probiotics aisle, what is the ambition of the company? Well, I think the microbiome um, we're now learning is linked to all kinds of different systems in the body. And I'll just say this about meeting Hallie, because as you might imagine, it can be intimidating to meet somebody like Hallie. And we, I feel like we hit it off from the first time that we talked and eventually got comfortable enough where she said, Colleen, you've really created a product that works, um, but nobody knows who you are and nobody's ever heard of Pendulum. I know you how to make change a the packaging. <laughs> and you've got to change the packaging. This just looks like a bottle of medicine. How do we create a package that the innovation on the outside matches the inside, but really, you know, how can I help you create a brand and create awareness? And I think that's that's kind of the power duo that we've got here. And so when we think about going out and really capitalizing on the gut microbiome, it goes way beyond what you think about today, which is GI distress, into metabolic health, which is what our first products are on. Um, we know that the gut is, uh, the gut-brain axis is really important. Acromancia actually produces GABA, which is known to reduce stress and anxiety. Um, and we know that there are kind of your typical neurodegenerative diseases that you can start to go after with the gut. And so we're super excited to keep learning and exploring the science. Hallie, you are, of course, Hallie Berry, you know. How did you decide you wanted a second act, and how much will this be your second act? Well, this will very much be my second act. You know, I feel like Colleen said, I feel it's incumbent upon me to use any you know, um, influence that I have over everyday people for good. And because I, you know, I used this product for over a year before I really asked her to really get involved. While I saw signs pretty early, I thought, no, let me ride this out. <laughs> let me see what the effects will be. And so I really took it very seriously, and I wouldn't be sitting here um, wanting to help her and, you know, align with her if I really didn't feel like this was something that really actually worked for me and, big way and I'm, my job now is to just let all of you know and since I'm at a summit I'm gonna say this if there's anybody out here who wants to get involved <laughs> let us know because I do think that this is a revolutionary product and I do think very soon this is going to be the the leader it's going to emerge as the leader of the pack and probiotics you've also dropped the M word a couple times which is menopause and I you know there are these taboos <laughs> there are these 
women's health topics that are taboo, that people don't talk about. So I appreciate that you are talking about these things, but should we be lifting the veil on more yes. of these issues? Yes, that's also a, a lane I'm going down um, also in this active life, because we, is, we have to sort of, you know, we have to get rid of these taboos, you know. Women have been suffering since the beginning of time. A million women a year go into menopause. $1.8 billion is lost in wages when women, because women can't go to work. So it's like, this is a real issue, you know? And I'll say this too, I, I love every man in this room, but if, if men suffered from menopause, this would have been figured out a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> and you know it's true. <laughs> so I just ask my, my, my brothers to like, you know, uh, support us as we go through this pro process and as women become more comfortable and we take the shame out of it, you know, we, we are blessed to make it to the menopausal years, right? And we are our best selves as women. We're stronger, we're smarter, we, you know, we've lived life, we've raised our children, we now have money to spend, like we're feeling good. Like, you know, it's, it's our time to really put some energy and some resources uh, uh, be, behind this issue and help us figure out ways that we can actually not just survive this time but thrive and pendulum is a really good product to start you on that journey. Another taboo you've been vocal about in the past is mental health. Is there a link between taking care of yourself in this kind of product and mental health? Yeah, I, th I think so. I think, you know, when, you, when your gut is well, you know, then everything about you is well. So it all starts here uh, in your gut, for sure. Colleen, it's not often we talk to a therapeutics company that's backed by Sequoia. And so I'm, and Alfred actually told me he's a huge fan, he takes a lot of supplements. I know Roloff, both uh, who's on your board, does as well. What does Sequoia bring to the table that another investor might not, given the Silicon Valley connection? Um, well, I think when we first started, we were all about the technology. And I, something that's really cool is that before I started this company, I worked at Pacific Biosciences, which is a DNA sequencing company. And DNA sequencing technologies really were born, you know, in Silicon Valley. And so that's the technology that creates all the massive amount of data that we use to identify what are the next targets to go after. And so when we first started working with Sequoia, it really was how do you bring the latest technologies and big data together with science and try to crack that nut. How do you bring these two things together? Um, and then I would say there are a lot of venture capital firms that say that they're founder friendly, um, but Sequoia is incredibly founder friendly. They create all of the tools and the infrastructure and the learning lessons um, to help all of us succeed. And they, they kind of have this phrase, the tribal knowledge, all the things that they've learned and Many startups go through sort of the same trials and tribulations, and how can they help us avoid the potholes as we're going down these, you know, new roads? And it's been an amazing partnership, um, and, and just their belief in how many of them are even on the products and sharing back their stories. Uh, I, I couldn't imagine better partners in building this. This is not a regulated space, right? The FDA treats this as a nutritional supplement or even a food ingredient. Should it be regulated? Do, do both of you have conviction about that, and can you change the government's view on probiotics? Well, actually, pendulum glucose control is not a supplement. It's on a different path, which is called medical food, which is a kind of between drug and supplement. So the reason we can say this is for people with type 2 diabetes and helps lower A1C and blood glucose spikes is because it is in a slightly different regulated space than the completely unregulated supplement. But does it have FDA approval? It's not a drug, so it's not an FDA-approved drug. Um, but I think that we'd all love to have more regulation in the space, and especially as this grows, um, I do think it's the responsibility of, you know, the industry to make sure that people aren't being fooled. Yeah, because I always, uh, my slogan is, all probiotics are not created equal, and I've tried most of them. <laughs> <laughs> is the, are regulators receptive to these messages? Have you, can you use your influence to go and make a difference in how regulators look at this and maybe clean up the industry a little bit? They're already making movements towards that, and it starts with standardizing how things are reported on the label. And so they, there have already been new laws put into place around, you know, how do you measure what's on, what you're putting on the label and how do you make sure that there's kind of truth in the bottle. And so I think, um, I don't know, are you up for taking on the U.S. government? I'm always good for, for a good yeah. fight. <laughs> but you said you've tried everything, right? There, yes. There's a lot I've tried of many. Yes. chaos and yes. misinformation in this. Yes, so yeah. 
I, the answer would be yes. I'm, I'm up for a good fight always. <laughs> um, what is the next frontier in metabolic health? Like, I feel like we're, we're kind of at a, a moment where we're having a breakthrough. Where do you see this going? What kind of research are you doing in terms of new products to help blow the doors open? I think metabolic health is going to continue to grow in our, our knowledge and, and, and products that, that surround it because essentially our ability to metabolize sugar is the number one signal for how well we're aging, how healthy we are. And so when you can actually metabolize your sugars better, it's not just that your A1C goes down, it's that you have better energy, reduced brain fog, better workouts, uh, some of these symptoms of menopause will start to be diminished. And so it's actually a fundamental core function of your body to metabolize sugar. And as we age, we lose things in our gut that help us metabolize these foods. And so as we start to figure out how do you improve metabolic health, we are all gonna get back some of those functions that right now I think a lot of people sort of shrug and say, well, that's just part of aging, we just have to deal with it. But we don't. I kind of want to hear your routines, like your dietary slash supplement slash exercise slash be in better health routines. Hallie, let's start with you. Mine, well, oh, I don't start with her. I look like a jerk. <laughs> all right, all right. Hallie, you go first. <laughs> Donuts and bourbon. <laughs> Seriously, right? I mean, you guys are thinking about this every day, so I'm, I'm curious. I want to learn. Well, I have always managed my diabetes with my food and, you know, mm -hmm. uh, and exercise, so that's a big part of what I do. I'm probably the most boring eater on the planet. I'm really just for a good protein and some, you know, low carb veggies that if I have that, sounds really boring, but I'm somebody that actually, you know, eats to live. I don't live to eat, so it's not that important to me. I'm not a foodie. So it's eating that way. It's having, you know, my exercise routine, which is always really important. What's your exercise routine? Well, it depends on, because of what I do, sometimes I'm playing a role where I have to lose weight. I just did a movie where I had to look emaciated like I was starving, so that's one way to sort of stay healthy while I do that. Before that, I played an MMA fighter, so I had to beef up. So it all depends on what I'm doing in my work life as to what my workouts sort of look like. But the food always stays the same. My pendulum always stays the same. And I take, you know, a few other supplements. You know, I make sure I have my, my you know, vitamin D. I take, you know, um, fish oils and, like, other things like that to sort of supplement my, my pendulum. But it's always... My pendulum is with me always. What about, you know, the meditation slash yoga slash tech routine? I mean, are you, are you a, like, take tech out of my day kind of person? Or? Um, I am, but it's not to take it out of my day. That's not really my thought. My thought is more to connect to myself because I'm also a big believer that we manifest, you know, our realities. And so sometimes I have to go deep in you know, just connecting with myself and putting out in the universe that which, you know, what I'm wanting. I'm a big believer in that too. All right, Colleen, your turn. <laughs> she I mean, just does bourbon and donuts, like I said. I know you didn't have to bulk up to be I an MMA fighter, but I don't eat to live. I live to eat. I love to eat. I love, that's why we created a product. First thing, I was like, how do we help this metabolism problem? So, um, no, I eat terribly, and then I take my glucose control. I also take my glucose control religiously, but for a different reason, to enable all the bad behaviors. I do exercise uh, pretty religiously because I think that that's an important part. For me, that's really a mental health thing. Um, but no, I'm a terrible, t I grew up in the South. I love fried foods and sweet things. Hence the bourbon. Yeah. And bourbon, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, Hallie, now that you're keynoting at tech conferences and advising a venture capital-backed startup, is this the beginning of something? Do you, are you looking for other similar opportunities related to things that you're passionate about? Absolutely. No, 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 you're, no. <laughs> just pendulum, no. No. sit. No, no, <laughs> no. She'll be available for pitches after the conference. What's going on, Brad? No. So kill me. No. No, but I will say this. Yeah, this is the second half of my, I mean, I, you know, at 56 years old, I've, I've really realized I'm kind of done being the dancing bear. So I really want to have a, a, a second act that's um, as meaningful as my first act. And actually, I think in your career, you've had to be incredibly entrepreneurial. There's a lot of skills you've had to develop oh, yeah. that apply directly to being in a startup. Yeah, and, you know, that's a really, I won't say many jobs are stressful, but as a movie actor, after every movie, you're unemployed again. So you're constantly, mm -hmm. you know, starting a new venture, if, if you will, or finding work or finding a way to also build your career so that after 30 years, you can still 
you know, be relevant in your career. So that takes, you know, I think an entrepreneurial spirit for sure. All right, so we'll end with this. I think, you know, some people in the audience might be hearing this for the first time. If they're, one, if they're intrigued, you know, what should they do first? You know, how do they go out there and start this journey? Well, I think good gut health sort of starts with getting educated first. So um, we have a lot of educational materials on our website, um, pendulumlife.com, but there's also, a, it's becoming mainstream enough that you can go to the Mayo Clinic and Cleveland Clinic websites and you can learn about gut health. And I think, I, I think what's really important is that people not take a product because they think it's doing something for them. We always tell people, you will have a measurable, you will feel a difference. And if you don't feel a difference, don't just do the thing. So I think that's an important thing. What are you trying to solve? What are you expecting to see? And then you go into this journey figuring out you're optimizing for those metrics. But I would say if you're struggling at all with type 2 diabetes in any way, your A1C is too high, glucose control is the product for you. Mm. If you are just not really having a problem with sugar, but you just want to have better metabolism, weight control, sleep better, then I would say um, metabolic daily would be, I think, the way to start. Halle Berry, <laughs> Dr. Colleen Cutliffe, thank you both thank so you. much. Thank, thank you. you.